that was once a funeral home, a bank, and recently, for some time now, served as an office for Eastern Technologies Incorporated is now no more due to a fire last night. But how will this affect employment and economy, of course, in Asher? Courtney Chandler in the city today and has more in this report. Rubble and ashes is what's left of Ashford's well-known Eastern Technology Building after it caught on fire after 9.30 p.m. on Tuesday evening. Both Ashford and Dothan fire teams were both on the scene, but there's no definite answer of what caused this fire. Employees were able to save some files and other office materials and, as you can see, even some clothes as well. But due to the extensive damage of the fire, Chief Posey says that most likely this building will have to be demolished. That building is very heavily damaged, and I can't speak for them, but it's very heavily damaged. They'll probably replace that building. Even though the building is gone, the employees that work there will not be out of work and ETI will still remain open in Ashford. But I understand they're already moving into a new facility here in Ashford to, to set up temporary facilities and all, so they can get stuff done. In Ashford, for the breaking news leader, Courtney Chandler, WDHN. Nobody hurt in that fire. Chief Posey tells us that it should be about a month before we find out what exactly was the cause in that situation. Coming up 